Hey y'all. How y'all doing? Hope y'all having a great night. A great day. It's been a long day. My Bible. My old Bible. Like actual Bible. I done had this Bible for about. I don't know how long. As you can see it's falling apart. And it's just one on. Here I'm like let me meditate for a minute. Let me, let me try to meditate. I was going through so many things in my mind. And I'm like God. Is this what you. What do you, what do you need me to hear? What give me something like? What do I need? Give me what I need to hear. Give me what I need to know. Give me what I need to share, right? And so I kept hearing trumpet, trumpet, trumpet. So I'm like, girl, I don't want to hear trumpets, Lord. I don't want to hear trumpets. <laughs> you know, like when you think of trumpets, you automatically think. At least I automatically think. Revelations, the sound of the trumpets, and all this, you know. So, plagues and all these things happening, which I already believe is happening. But anyway, I'm thinking about that. And then I hear trumpets, and then I hear three, 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 three. So, I'm like, what, the third trumpet? So, I'm like, what is this? So, I'm thinking, okay, get my Bible. Holy Spirit, get your Bible. I haven't pulled my Bible out of this drawer. I have it in my nightstand. I cleaned this out months ago, reorganized and put it back. Because I use my phone, right? And pulled out my Bible and I went to Revelations. And I used to do this all the time where I just opened my Bible. And um, open my Bible and see where, where it takes me. Like, Holy Spirit, lead me. Give me the message. Whatever I need. And that usually works for me. Like, it used to work. I might want to start doing that again. I, I encourage y'all to do that. If you just need something from God, like just open your Bible and random, just open it and let it guide you. Okay. I went to Revelations and I'm like looking and I'm like trumpets and I'm like, I not seeing like what am I what I so I'm like okay no that's not it. Let me close it. Let me go back. Let me, and I'm like three three three. What is three three three? So in trumpets. So I went. And I'm like, let me use my app. So I went to my app, put in trumpets, 333, and Ezekiel comes up. So I go go to my Bible and read it. And in Ezekiel, Ezekiel, <laughs> Ezekiel 33 and 3, it says, let me tell y'all what it say. Because, yeah, this for y'all. This for you. This for me and this for y'all. I need my glasses. If when he sees the sword come upon the land, he blows the trumpet and warns the people. Right? Then it goes on to say, like, if he blows the trumpet and he warns the people and they don't and they don't take heed to the warning and they die, their blood is on their hands because they didn't take heed to the warning. But if he sees the enemy or whatever somebody coming right and he doesn't blow the trumpet and the people die the blood will be on the watchman's hands so this is about ezekiel being a watchman and i believe that god want all of us to be a watchman like you a child of god you a watchman and it goes on to say like if you are god tell you to 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 warn people and you don't warn them. And you see them doing wrong or you see them doing whatever. And you don't talk to them and warn them. Knowing what you know. Then you will be held accountable for their death. For whatever happens to them. Okay. And I know that's heavy. That certain responsibility is on you. Like once you understand you're a child of God. And you have... You have a, a a purpose and you have a calling. Like God has to reach people, but ultimately He uses people to reach His people, and He want all His people to live. He want everybody to live. Like He don't have pleasure in 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 His His babies getting hurt or being killed and dying and sinning or whatever the case may be. Like so, as children of God, as people that love God. You have to be a watchman. You have to see the enemy. You have to see what's happening. Because 
people don't, I don't know how to say this. It's like we've got away from God. God is not like the first priority in, in anything. We put ourselves, our needs, and what we want before we put God, and it shouldn't work like that. Like, you have to, we have to be watchmen. We have to be looking out, not just for our people or the people that are saved, but for those that are not saved. Because it goes on to say, like, if somebody is evil or they're sinners and they turn from their ways, their sins and everything that they did prior will be forgotten, will be forgiven, and they will live. But if you're a righteous person and you know and what you know, but then you go and do evil, everything that you did that was righteous, it will be forgotten. And you're going to die because of that. So it's like, it's a great responsibility, like knowing all that you know. like, But we have to, we have to be vigilant in sharing what we know. Everybody might not get it right then because it takes a level of maturity and wanting to actually know God and get closer to God. But it is our it's our mission. It's our purpose to, to be God's hands and feet. <sighs> Lord Jesus. Like, and it's something that I do not want to do, like, because I'm not I'm not this perfect person, like I, um, I'm a leche, you know what I mean? Like I have my days and I make mistakes and I do stuff too, but I'm just sharing with God. I'm just being a vessel right now. So whatever God is doing in me in this season, I'm just, I'm just going to keep doing it. But yeah. So y'all continue to be watchmen, continue to look out for the people that you see like that need God people really want to find God now like and God is get if y'all don't you know realize it like he is opening the eyes he is getting his people and y'all need to help <laughs> like he is he is he is really gathering his people because it's our time like it's it's our time I love y'all and I will see you tomorrow